didn't you? Yep. Well, how do that, people? It is I, Captain Stephen, today. Jumps on playing some No Man's Sky, I know. <laughs> I haven't put some No Man's Sky. Well, actually, I put up the video today, didn't I? Yes, I'm still doing No Man's Sky content. Awesome! Right, so here we go. Let's hit play game. Now, we should have had this save here, which is my. I've still got this as my community expedition. I'm wondering whether it's actually ended now. Whether I can actually get rid of this save, because I may not need it. So we're just going to load into this quickly, and we're going to be doing a little bit of housekeeping on our save points. Yes, we are. Scottish Rod in the house, people, and Professor Cynical. Hello there, chappies. Awesome. 07, nice to see you. So, yeah, um, Scottish of the Rods, uh, What is he put something out the other day about his saves, transferring over to PlayStation 5. Yeah, that, that was fun. What the fuck is going on? Why is there an egg icon over there? Why is it telling me? Oh, okay, yes, I can hatch my new companion. I'm not going to bother. It can stay in its egg. I'm just going to check on the Quicksilver Synthesis companion and see how much, well, see how much longer we've got to go with the older thing. So we go, let's have a look. 30%. It's going a bit quicker than what people thought it would. Yes. Awesome. Okay, well, at this rate, it should be unlocked fairly soon. And Professor Cynical in the house, people. If you don't know who Professor Cynical is, he does awesome videos on glitching and, and getting up to standard quicker. So if you're a new player and you want to cut a few corners, you want to take that little bit of the ache out of the grind. I say a little bit. He'll freaking get you to god tier within seconds. So, yeah, check out his freaking videos. Check out his channel. Because, um, yeah, Professor Cynical has got some corner cutting. He turns squares into circles. Heck, yes, he does. Right, okay. Ah, uh, righto. Uh, I better bring my stream up on my screen so I can keep up with what people are saying. One second. I'll be right back with you. Right, so here we go. And let's just see if my mic is actually working. Yes, it is. <laughs> I should have checked that earlier. But yeah, cheers, Captain. You're more than welcome, sir. We've also got Moose Gaming in the house. An awesome content creator is Moose Gaming. And Scottish Rod, I mentioned he'd done a video the other day. It's a must-watch if you've got yourself a PlayStation 5 and you're, you're trying to move your saves over. It'll save you a lot of freaking aggro. It really will. Righto. Yeah, or at least bookmark it or something for when you get your PS5. Apparently, they're getting more stocking. They're getting more stock into Argos in the UK. Of course they are. Awesome. Thanks, James MC. So that's back to the Neocon because I'm on my PlayStation. So when I'm streaming through my PC, I'll be using my new headset. But you can't wait for that. Right, okay. Oh, hello there, James. Hello there, Copper Belly Bill. Nice to see you, to see you all nice. Right, has this save actually converted? I didn't see... Th there's no mission freaking thing in the bottom, is there? Because... Uh, okay. Uh, community research. No, it's, it's not there. I think we're about done. I think... I think it's probably changed to a normal save. Let's go and hit up a... Let's jump in my ship and out of my ship. What the fuck just happened to my ship? Oh. It's a different save, Captain Steve. I thought my ship had vanished. This is it. This is the... Uh, oh, yeah, it's the community mission, isn't it? Right, -o. well, let's jump on out then. And let's see if that's now a normal save. Let's see if it's actually over. Done, dilly, done. Awesome. Back out to mode select. As it, yes, it's back to a normal save. Oh no, it still says community. So it hasn't quite ended yet, has it? Okay. Well, it says that it's complete there. But it hasn't converted to normal yet. It should have done at 2pm today. Yes, yeah, the 18th. It should have done. It ended yesterday. So it should have converted at 2pm today. Hmm. Intriguing. Intriguing. It might not mean anything, but if it hasn't converted by 2pm tomorrow, then that's freaking weird. Alright, anyway, we're going to hit up normal, and we're going to go do some Quicksilver missions today, people. Heck yes, we are. Cool, yeah. Still have the Expedition tabs. Not changed yet. That does, that does sort of make me wonder. That does make me wonder whether they might be trying to put in another Expedition, Expedition 5. Straight off the back of this one. Sean has been putting up some awesome images in portrait format, hasn't he, just of late? Like I mentioned on my Sunday video. Hello, Miyogi! Miyogi's in the house, people. Miyogi has been working on trying to get a dragon into a pet egg. He'd done a video earlier, apparently, I haven't watched it yet, where he was showing this pet dragon. I need to go watch it. It's over on his channel. Maybe we could go hit that up at the end of here or something. I don't know. But yeah, 
He um, he's trying to get a dragon into the iteration, and he's trying to get it to look like the avatar. You know, the dragon out of Avatar. It's like that one of those ones. He's trying to get that in, sort of like a, a dragony type pet, which is pretty darn freaking cool. So this is our pet giveaway area, and my base. Oh, it has rendered. I was looking at it from the opposite side. So basically, when we give away the pet X, it's every Saturday at the moment, and it's going to be after we do the Bake Off. So me and, me and we, we do the Bake Off, me versus Miyogi, then straight after the Bake Off, we come here and we give away pets. So it goes on for about an hour, give or take, with the uh, Bake Off and, included. Great fun having a laugh with Miyogi. So I guess what we might have to do is say this side, these two, is going to be the dragon, and then this side is going to be the birds. I'm only hatching birds at the moment, so I need to hatch a bird. I haven't hatched one today. I don't know whether it's... Oh, has it been the full 24 hours? Probably not. I've done this quite late last night. Been a busy bee. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can hatch him. No, it's got another four hours. I'm going to have to do this like 10pm tonight. Fudging crap. Okay, yeah. Been too busy, so I will feed him. I will get some more eggs. At the moment, I've got two eggs waiting to go so i've got a miyogi egg i've got a steve egg the difference being the miyogi bird is white and the captain bird is red and the red one is max statted sweet awesome well hello there miyogi 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 awesome awesome dragon sorted and new worm oh wow interesting i heard one of you big brains say that hello games is working works it so that you can start an expedition within 24 hours but can you finish up one so assume this is the final hours i'm not 100 percent sure what's going on um usually they tried well they did twitch drops in line with a lot of these sort of expeditions and i don't know there hasn't been a, although there's been a lot of screenshots going up from sean murray that's all it's been is screenshots there hasn't been some sort of emoji to sort of speculate on or anything like that it's like they did one with beachhead they did one with um they did one with pretty much every single one of the expeditions so far hasn't he so i don't know i don't know if if there is there hasn't been much hype that he's been building off of it so who knows I would like to hope that we get another expedition drop straight after this one, but mm, th th there's not enough signs to say that we are, and it's like there's n there's nothing happened to the steam depots or anything like that. So if there is a new expedition being added, they haven't added in any new content for the expedition. When I say new content, like assets, you know, like the worms, like the uh, the worm nests that we had in Emergence. See, they had to get added through a steam library. We haven't seen that happen either. So if we do get an expedition, I don't think it's going to bring us much in way of rewards. So I, I, I don't think there's going to be an expedition within this week. <laughs> I could be wrong. But um, yeah, unless they do it all back to back and freaking Steam goes mental and lights up like a Christmas tree. To be honest, I haven't checked Twitter today. I had a busy freaking day at work. I'm um, doing lots of, lots and lots of shenanigans. Right, okay. Oh, we've already checked this guy. Why am I checking him again? It's still 30%. Yes, it's still 30%. Right, well, we've got ourselves three pigeons, so we're going to be picking up some Quicksilver missions to do. So let's do those. I still think early February. Rod, I think you could be right. I think Beeble said something like the 2nd of Feb or the 22nd of Feb, because it's 22.02.2.022 or whatever. Right, hunt dangerous pirates. Let's get on that before that disappears. No, don't leave mission. Start mission. Heck yes. Yeah, I'm fine in multiplayer. Yeah, I don't need multiplayer. Cool, let's go. Let's go kill some freaking pirates. Quick, easy, quick silver. That's what I like. Nice. Where's my ship part? Okay, where'd I put the dang thing? Um, where's my ship? Fudge, I've lost my bloody ship. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Oh, my days. What am I like? Sweet. Yeah, I think it needs a little bit more prep. But... It's, you know, we've all had this Christmas break. And I know that Hello Games are definitely entitled to a freaking Christmas break, how hard they've worked throughout the year, definitely. But um, I was kind of thinking, you know, because they put all the other expeditions back to back, and that's not really for players that have been playing forever and have done them all already, like me and most other content creators, you guys, regulars. You know, there's there wasn't much in it for us because we've already done it, you know? So, I was kind of hoping that there would be something that dropped for all the people that have already done it all. 
iTrack, No Man's Sky and Minecraft. Well, hello there, iTrack. Welcome, sir. Awesome. Hi, Diddly High. Now let's head on over. And let's uh, head on up this pirate activity. Let's take on out the pirates. We're going to kill these pirates. Murdication is on the cards for these pirates. You're all going to get murdered. Yes, you are. Well, hello there, Adam Mac. Welcome, welcome. Kate Blair, also known as Dr. Pong. Hope you're doing well, Kate. Heck yes. Uh, yeah, awesome. Let's head on in and let's uh, take on out these pirates. We've arrived, Decated. There we are. Let's pulse. Wrong button. There we are. Awesome. Where are you, you scallywags? You vermin of space. Yeah, space trash. You're gonna friggin' die. Okay, they've brought in freaking freighters. Take that. Take that. You're all dead. Sweet. We got them. What? Why? Why is that? Why are they getting back up? Oh great, I must have shot something that I shouldn't have shot. Darn it! Okay, well we'll take out the sentinels as well then. Just for fun. Take that sentinel. Die! Right, we're gonna pick up these canisters. Lovely, lovely canisters. Sweet. Any more of you little roustabouts? I was doing a lot of light shows for my friend's band last night. Oh nice, Dr. Pong. So yeah, Dr. Pong's also a content creator, people. Dr. Pong does some awesome, super duper content on No Man's Sky. If you're looking for more No Man's Sky content creators to watch, Dr. Pong is one of those. Yeah, she does some lovely videos, does Dr. Pong. So yeah, check out her vids. Awesome, awesome. She's got a lovely, I think it's it's a little cat. No, it's a dog. Dr. Pong's got a dog, not a cat. You hear it bark every now and again. Yeah, it's, it's a really cute dog, though, people. So yeah, if you like dogs, you probably like Dr. Pong. Oh, we've done it. Is that it? We're done. Awesome. Right, well, let's go call in the old Nexus. Let's get out of here, then. Come in. Let's go and get our lovely, lovely Quicksilver. Heck yes. I was doing a lot of live shows. Oh, okay, Coolio. Uh, oh, Panosig. How often do griffings and other egg gifting events happen? Because I want one. I collect them. Panos, we're going to be doing them every Saturday after the Bake Off. So me and Miyogi do a baking competition. We have to make something and then it gets judged by you guys in the live chat. It's actually really good fun. So join us on the Saturday around 6pm GMT. That's um, Greenwich Mean Time. That's English time, basically. And uh, yeah, 6pm our time, roughly. We try to aim for then, because it's the weekend. We can't really guarantee it's going to be then, but hopefully. And we start off doing the Bake Off. The Bake Off lasts for about half an hour, so it gives people time to tune in, have a bit of fun with us, get involved with the live chat and the poll and vote in on who's done the best bake. Yeah, And then straight afterwards, we go to Miyogi's Planet and we start giving away these eggs. So yeah, it's Saturdays, and uh, yeah, the event goes on for quite a while. I mean, I'm gonna. I'm hoping to have about six eggs to give away. Miyogi may have more, but yeah, it's first comes first served, and yeah, yeah. Hopefully, you're gonna get the egg you're after. But if not, you can just recolor the bird. Say, if you wanted the red one, you just use dirt to get it to go red. Cup of the English tea. What are you doing, Ivy? She's got herself a freaking bell. Why have you got yourself a freaking bell? Alright, she's. Let me show the people what you've got. She's bought this. It's freaking cast iron. It's a bloody bell. Why? That's okay. for my book. To put on top of my book. Oh, okay. Well, I suppose you could, piece. you could put that in the hallway, and then when, le when dinner's ready, we can just ring the bell as the legs come down for dinner. Din. Yeah. Well, that's not annoying at all, is it? Awesome. Cool. There you go. She's she's bought a, a bell. Apparently, it's for decor. It's yeah. the home decor. It's um, accent piece. Yeah, it's my decor. I've got an R2-D2 and a freaking Goku. You don't need any more decor than that. That's that's the house done. Right? Awesome. Cool. It's better. It's not. It really isn't. You just don't understand style. Okay, right. Awesome. Really? <laughs> yeah. What style? My style, which uh -huh. is awesome geekiness. Nice. Geeky chic. Oh, for fudge sake, there's somebody already in this one. Raid plant should. Oh, sod it, we'll just do it with this stranger. Right, come on in. Come on in, matey. Go. Freaking. Not ready. Why are you not ready? Then why bloody put the mission up then? Oh, now my freaking game's stuck. Right, okay. Come out of there then. Uh, join mission. It won't let me join the mission. And it won't let me. And now I can't leave. Again. Right. Um. 
Sweet. Well, that's great, isn't it? This game just gets more broken, doesn't it? You know what? I'm going to just exit out of multiplayer because that, that gets rid of all the problems. You get rid of the problems. There you go. Uh, it needs more cowbell. It does look like a cow. I think it's a cowbell mounted on a freaking hook. I mean, someone's someone's quids in with that. It wasn't us. We're not quids in. Right, we're going to kill 72 monstrosities instead. Right, eh? Okay. 72 monstrosities. Have I got myself some freaking... Yeah, I've got some of that. Can I make some more? Missing component. What do I need? Metal plating. All right, well, let's get rid of the Herox. Let's make a metal plate or two. Let's make a plate or two. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. We've got ourselves a load of grenades for murdication of these little guys. Woohoo, milking time. No, Miyogi, it's not. <laughs> but if, that just sounds wrong, Miyogi. Right, okay. Awesome. Let's go. Needs more cowbell. Salutes Ivy. You got a salute, Ivy, from Mr. Miyogi. Miyogi gave you a salute. One of them. Just because you're in the house. Because yeah. you're here. I'm going to say, hello, Miyogi. Hello, Miyogi. Cool. There you go. You got, a, you got an Ivy hello there. Awesome. Sweet. Adam Bax there as well. Awesome. I got I got a fever. And the only cure is more cowbell. Oh, my days. They like your bell. They like your cowbell. <laughs> yeah. What? Change your outfit. What? My R2D2 and things? Yeah. No, they probably like my R2D2 more <laughs> than your cowbell. Yeah. Is it cowbell? That's what it looks like. Here you go. I'm going to put up a freaking pole. Okay, so what do you like most? Yeah, you're going to side with Ivy just to, just to be gits, aren't you? <laughs> okay. What you like. There we go. And then I put in cowbell. R2 D2. Alright, there we go. Ask your community. There you are. There you go. You can Social vote. First. Yeah, go on. Show show your piece. There you are. There you are. That's what you're voting on. Yeah, Ivy bought that today. How much did you pay for it, Ivy? Twenty pounds. Twenty pounds is what Ivy paid for that. Twenty pounds is what Ivy spent on that. And what you're voting against is this little chap. He's my R2 D2. He makes this noise. He makes this noise. And you can remove it, look. Mine's got lights. And you can't, you, you can remove things inside of him. Yeah. Oh, what's inside it? That, that's all my um, toothbrush. toothbrush stuff. <laughs> yeah. For my electric toothbrush that broke. So, yeah. Mm. Oh, I dropped him. I nearly <laughs> dropped him. I dropped him. Okay, so I think mine's going to win. Yeah. Oh, for fudge sake, it's 50 50. <laughs> oh, f all right, I'm, I'm taking damage. It's 50-50 at the moment. I'll, I'll wait until we get a few more freaking votes in. But uh, I want one. What, the cowbell? Or the R2-D2 bin? Yeah, the R2-D2 bin's pretty darn freaking cool. I don't know about the cowbell. Right, okay. Oh, look, there's loads of flying Gex here. Oh, aren't they cute? Aren't they lovely? Aren't they wonderful? Oh, they've got little fuzzy heads and everything. Okay, if you want one of these little bat-type gek dudes, there's the actual portal coordinates, and they are sneaky good. I like them. They're super damn cute, aren't they? Oh, he's lovely. He's very lovely, isn't he? He's lovely. What system is this? Is this is this a Miyogi's system? Yes, this is. I think this is Miyogi's system. This is the helpers party. So we usually give the eggs away on the lush planet. Is that the lush? That's the lush, I think. I think that's where my base is. We're on its neighbouring planet. And yeah, what an awesome little creature. Can I scan him? I'm going to scan him. I'm going to see if I can name him. Can I name him Stevie? Heck yes, yeah, so that'd be freaking sweet. I'll have my own creature. In the Mogi area. Oh no, someone's already found him, wizard, wizard. Damn you, wizard, wizard. I wanted to name him. Damn you, wizard, wizard. Right, okay. All right, fine. Damn it. Done. Right, target aligned. Um... What the fudge? Are you, uh, you're having a laugh. 500 views that way is just frickin' ocean. Okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll see what's going on then. Let's go this way then. Uh, let's uh, top up my hazardy protection. Right. I honestly don't think the building is this way. All right, now it's going this way slightly. 500 views. Yeah. This is like, oh, that's just going to be painful doing 500 views in frickin' water. 
take off. Come on. Adopt one and you can name it. Oh, uh, yeah, you can, but no. No. No, cool. I've got all my pet slots all sort of filled at the moment, and I've got a flying geck, and I think my flying geck is cuter. I'll show you my flying geck, shall I? Here you go, here you go. I'll show you my flying geck. So into here, this is my little flying geck. Look how cute he is. He's got butterfly wings. He's got a proper geck face. He's got lovely gecky eyes. He kind of matches my T-Rex. My T-Rex is pretty darn freaking awesome as well. Then I've got the Miyogi bird that I've called the Captain Bird because I made him red and made his stats awesome. And there's the Miyogi bird, which is the white one, which I'm going to be replacing with the dragon this Saturday. Right, okay, I'm going to be closing the poll in 10 seconds time. So if you haven't voted on what you like, the cowbell, or the R2-D2, you're going to miss out. So, yeah, get your votes in. Ten seconds remaining. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're going to end this poll right now. Uh, um, yeah, here we go. End poll. Boom. Done. Right, eh? we wait for the results to come in. Oh, this is freaking riveting, isn't it? Let's see, let's see what we've got. All right, Ivy, 20 people voted. Out of the ten, 20 people, 10 people voted for your cowbell. <laughs> 10 people voted for my R2-D2. Oh, I got 20. No, no, we, we both got 10 each. Oh. So there was 20 total. And the, oh, it was okay. split, so it's a draw. They like your cowbell as much as my R2-D2. <laughs> so that means our taste is equally as good in good. stuff. Yeah, there we oh, are. I'm going to take that as a freaking win, because that's still going to annoy Ivy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, oh, she's looking at me. She, she's looking at me, people. Let's add some on top okay. of my book. I'm getting told off now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah awesome. Um, where the fudge is this bloody... St there it is, over there. Right, okay. Why send me into a poxy lake when it wasn't anywhere near the frickin' lake? It, was, it, was, it wasn't even the opposite side of the lake. I've done a frickin' C shape or whatever. Yeah, that's like a boomerang type of thing. Uh, hello there, Sazable. Welcome, Saz. Welcome. I made it 20 seconds before you close the poll. I don't know exactly what I voted for. Oh, okay. Well, um, Ivy's got this little cowbell thing that she's bought. It's over here. Yeah. And um, I, I've got an R2-D2 behind me. So, yeah, it was voting for either this cowbell. Why do you want to see it? Yeah, th this thing. So Ivy bought that. And uh, we, was, we were seeing if you guys liked it more than my R2-D2. It's got nothing to do with freaking No Man's Sky, people. It's, it's, it's just this is my life, you know. I've got a, I've got a girlfriend that likes buying cowbells. This this hat. is a thing. This is the same color as your hat. It is the same color as my hat. There we are. Awesome. Okay, right. Well, this is the second Quicksilver mission that we've done. We've done hunt dangerous pirates. This is the second Quicksilver mission, and this one is to kill alien infestation. We've got to take out these freaking eggs. I could see the R2D2 in the background, so I voted for that. <laughs> Oh, well, that was lucky. You voted blind. Ivy could have won. Awesome. I'm glad you voted for the R2-D2. Ah. Ha-ha. <laughs> awesome. Right, okay, cool. There we go. Let's, uh, let's do this, then. Take that. Okay, um... Yeah, there we are. Die! Boom! See that? One hit kill. Freaking death punch. Take that, you. Boom! This is my new alien multi-tool that I've been doing up. I've called this my Murdication Multi-Tool for apt freaking reason. Okay, hat and cowbell 100%. Yeah, they're liking your cowbell more now because it matches my hat's colour. Right, you didn't sell your cowbell all that well. I mean, you showed the sound, but yeah, I think I sold my, my R2-D2 better, to be honest. There we go, we've got to go inside the terminal now. Alright, where is it? Where's the door? There it is. It's freaking below me. There we are. We're going in. Into here and into here. And some, did something just hit me on the head? Yes, you did. Die. Freaking die. No, it's immortal. It won't die. Freaking heck. That's a freaking git. How comes it can hurt me indoors, but I can't hurt it indoors? Where's this bloody terminal then? I can't poxy see it for freaking trying. Where is it? I'm going to get hit on the head again in a minute. There's no bloody terminal in here. Okay. All right. Well, that's that's not fun. Freaking die. Okay, let's try shooting it from outside. Die. Okay, uh, why is that not dying? Freaking... No, oh, fudge it. All right, well, there's got to be another door or something. 
Yeah, here we go. Terminal through this one, people. Other room. Yeah, thanks, Dr. Pong. I, I, I knew there was another room. Totally knew that. Totally. Totally knew that. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. There we go. Download coordinates. Brilliant. Turn on your torch, Captain Steve. Yeah, your torch? I don't know if you know this, but your torch actually drains your um, hazard protection quicker. Yeah. Let's go outside. I'll show you. So here we go. Let's go out here. Uh, that's going to prove me wrong now, isn't it? Or has my torch just turned itself off? It used to, anyway. Well, maybe it doesn't then. It's not a very hazardous planet, is it? It's not a hazardous planet to test it on. But apparently, the, you know the little white arrows next to your bar? It goes down a bit quicker. Or at least somebody told me that in my comments. You know when i done my um, my beginner's guide video, Back to Basics? I was saying it on there. How far away is this? We're not going to walk it. It's nine freaking minutes away, Captain Steve. All right, okay, ship. Where's my ship? Yeah, my ship's over by the freaking lake, isn't it, that it sent me to? Cap, the murder case, the murder case, blindfolded. Can you murder Kate blindfolded? I'm not even gonna, I'm, no, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna try that. I, one, I haven't got a blindfold, and two, I'll probably end up blowing my own legs off. All right, cool, let's head on over here. Let's head on over there, and we'd hit this one up. We do this infestation site. Nice. Right, okay. And we're landing. I have done this mission before just using melee combat. However, they've made these things a lot tougher now. And I think they would kill me within seconds. Because they're freaking evil now. They've upped the damage on these guys. But they didn't do that with the sentinels. So yeah. Me, Damash, Madfish. And I think it was my ammo or Scottish Rod. Went at these guys just doing melee combat. We had to mash in VR mode, and in VR mode you do a lot of damage. So it was it was mainly thanks to him that we managed to do them all through melee, but I took out a fair few with melee. Okay, there's one left. Let's go let's go see if we can punch him in the freaking head. Okay, he's got friends. He's got freaking friends. Right. Pow! Oh no. Okay, well let's try you then. Ah you freaking get back! Yeah, I killed one! I killed one! Uh oh. Yeah, come on then. Frickin' have this. Frickin' Bruce Lee, you to frickin' death, people. Frickin' get! Take that! Right, you're not- get, run away, how dare you. Right, we popped another one. We killed two through melee combat, that wasn't too bad. But yeah, it's a bit harder now, they do a bit more damage now. I wouldn't recommend doing that in permadeath, okay? Just in case you're thinking about it. I know some of you are pretty darn frickin' crazy, and you're gonna try anyway now, aren't you? Right. Awesome. Is that all of them? No, we've got to kill another 25 here. Alright, fine. Die! Kamehameha! Sweet. Boom! Take that! Freaking get bags. Right, they're not all clustered together now. So, yeah. Um, doing the melee sort of slowed me down a bit. Right, let's pop another one here. Let's see if we can get them to all spawn over this way. Boom! Die! How'd you like that? Right, okay. Boom. We're going to have to reload my freaking geology cannon now. Nice. Freaking die. Die some more. Yeah. Awesome. We're already getting two at a time. Right, well, let's go to Scatter Blaster. And let's just shotgun them in the face. Where are you? We're going creature hunting. Boom. Pow. Yeah, you want some. Boom. Pow. Pow. Wait. Any more for any more? You want some? Oh, shite. Gotta reload. Oi! Stop teleporting! That's another thing they do now as well, people. They can jump and cover... They do instant translocation. They peer right behind you and bite you in the frickin' rectum. That's what they tend to do now. Right, little pains. Right, we've got them. Have we got them? Yeah, we got them. I guess. Yeah, we went just frickin' toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Banana Tom in the house! Banana Tom is another content creator, covers quite a lot of games, including No Man's Sky. Usually covers off a few indie titles as well. Pretty damn frickin' nutter, to be fair. Yeah, he had a tattoo of a, a lady coming out of a banana. Yeah, he doesn't even like bananas. He doesn't even like the taste of bananas. And yet, he's called Banana Tom and he had a tattoo of a banana. I know, doesn't make sense, right? Why did he have the picture of a banana lady on him? Because Scottish Rod frickin' drew it in a competition. That's why. Now it's on him for life. Yeah, check out Banana Tom. He's completely batshit. Yeah, so... Oh, sorry. <laughs> but he is. 
Yeah, he's mental. But yeah, I, I like him. He's a good guy. So yeah, check him out. Awesome, awesome fun. Right, okay, right. So let's spin this around. And he's got a lovely lady as well, who, who also does gaming. Sometimes with him. Sometimes I do collabs on games and stuff when they're doing multiplayer games. And she's a lovely, adorable lady. So yeah, go check him out. He's also got quite a lot of other tats as well. He's proper inked. So yeah, good guy. Yeah, I'm, I am hoping that we're going to do a meetup at some stage in the UK and we can all get together. So Miyogi had it sort of, uh, yeah, batshit is it's a complete compliment, mate. It is, it's totally. I think we get on okay if we meet up in real life, me, you, Rod, and everybody else. But yeah, so Miyogi was saying maybe in March we could do a meetup in Birmingham. Now, because of all this Omnicron shizzle that's been going on and how crazy the world's getting, and the fact that you're not allowed parties unless you live at number 10. Yeah, it's um, it's one of those, to be fair. I don't, I don't know whether it's going to happen. And if it does happen, it's going to be at very short freaking notice at this rate. So I, I really don't know what to do about it at the moment. I need to gauge interest, but I haven't actually put my arse into gear yet and actually sorted out anything. So, yeah, I might just put it on my community tab for members, but then I don't... <sighs> Or just people watching, to be fair. And if you're in the UK, you can just come along, I suppose. But it's, yeah, it's an all-you-can-eat buffet place. But I need to get an idea of numbers. Yeah, so here we go. Let's head enough over here. Right, we've got to kill 35 of these little gits. Right, boom, boom. Right. Oh, it's changed back to combat scope. Why does it do that? It's a shame it just doesn't keep default settings. There we go. Take that. Freaking die. If I can just stay where I am now. Hopefully get a few of them for this one geology cannon. Take that, take that. Oh, extreme storm is now doing me damage. So I need to just do that. Back up. Oh no, I've run out of freaking juice in my blinking murdication device. Right. No, I haven't. You know I have. Why is it... Has it changed back to combat, bloody sk Oh, you freaking kid. Okay, now I need to charge it up. Right, okay. Weirdness. Take that. Die. More death to you. They're over here now as well. They scutter about too bloody quick. You little scutters. Yeah, take that. Yeah, death from above. Oh dear. Okay, right. We're a bit of recharge rather than... Oh no, we're good. We're good. It's my life support that's quite low now. Bloody hell, I'm having to recharge everything this episode. Right, well, we've got another 10 to kill. Okay. Take that. I might have to just go down there because I've made so many blanking craters now. Where's this cluster? There we oh, There we go. There we are, we got them all. Ha <laughs> ha! You're all dead. Banana Tom, ah, oh, okay. Well, if you ever create another No Man's Sky save or two, I've found too many yellow ships during... Oh, nice! Oh, okay, sweet. Nice one, Saz. Lots of yellow ships. Cool. Right. Bye, Miyogi. Yeah, take care, Miyogi. Awesome. Good to have you here, sir. Right, let's head through here. I'm going to try to hit up the console in here. Lovely. And that should be the mission done. What the... F oh, right, okay, we don't have to do it this time. We just have to go back to the Nexus, don't we? Okay, fine. Sometimes you have to go in there and then choose your murdication preference, don't you? Like, audible, toxic, whatever. Righto. Sleuths, and later, bye. Take care. Awesome. Survival Bob is doing a US meetup in Orlando next month. Oh, sweet. That's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. Well, yeah, I might do a meetup maybe in March is what we're thinking so that'd be pretty cool shame we couldn't have coincided it with his couldn't and then um yeah maybe we could have done some sort of live interaction thing with a laptop or something oh well um but then there's time zones and that'd be tricky as wouldn't it that'd be freaking tricky but anyway i think i've still got some of my tea left oh yes i have cheers people out there in viewer world Wait, cool. Mission complete. Ring the bell. There you go. 
mission completion bell. There you go. Done. Diddling. Nice. Right, so, uh, oh, wrong place. I'll go over here and turn it, turn it in. Sweet. And complete mission. We're going to get ourselves some fireworks, so I don't know what we've got room for. Right, I'm going to take this jumper off. Get a bit warm now. Right, uh, sweet. Cool, yeah. Awesome. I have vacation time next year to go on a real life No Man's Sky week. Oh, nice. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Right, we've got one more. One more to do. Well, we're hoping. We're. Oh, kill monstrosities again. 51 this time. All right, fine. We'll just do that one. So, we're hoping to go over to the Philippines. Me and Ivy. I've never met Ivy's mum and dad in real life, just through video chats and things. And through video chats, it's, it, it, you know, it's, it's not like you can ask a heck of a lot of questions in a video chat, apart from what's that in the background. But if we're going to go around places where Ivy grew up and stuff, and they're showing me places in the Philippines, I'm fairly sure we'd have more to talk about. So, it could be pretty darn sweet. So, it's different, isn't it, doing a video call with people that you haven't met face to face. I don't know about you, but I'm always a little bit weird about that. So, uh, yeah, it'd be nice to build a proper relationship with them. Also, Ivy actually owns a church out there, an old church that needs to be renovated. We're hopefully going to turn it into a place that we can stop at, you know, when we go out there for holidays. Maybe split the year, half there, half here or something, when we retire. Or if I ever make it super big and super awesome, um, you know, in the old YouTube world, that would be freaking awesome. Because you can do that anywhere, can't you, you know? As long as you've got internet connection. And I can always get Starlink, you know, the Elon Musk thing. Which gives you 5G anywhere in the world when it gets turned on properly. So that would be pretty darn sweet. I think it only works in certain areas that have all the 5G set up at the moment in England. So it's a bit hit and miss. Yeah, although that we, we claim to be one of these, you know, super super world leaders when it comes to tech and all that sort of shenanigans we're not when it comes to interwebs you know and, and connectivity we've got fiber broadband but it's not everywhere yeah a lot of rural areas haven't got interweb still well hello there cue ball gaming look at that we've got cue ball in the house cue ball is an awesome content creator for no man's sky in fact his whole channel is no man's sky he puts out videos all the time great guy Really good to watch. His thumbnails are freaking fantastic. Check out Cubeball if you haven't already. He's also been one of my backers of my channel for freaking eons. So has Moose, actually. Moose has been there for ages. But loads of you are. So thank you very much, anyway, people. But yeah, check out Cubeball. He's an awesome guy. Hello there, Grandpa and Lord Gaming. Welcome, welcome. Awesome to see you, sir. All right, there we go. Let's um, let's get ready this time. Right, so we've got our geology cannon, we've got the scatter blaster. Let's just pop it with a scatter blaster. No, don't put it away. Right, there we go. And take that. Boom. Okay, let's get right above them. Chicka pow. Chicka pow. Chicka pow. And die. Have some more death. De okay, we've run out of freaking. We've run out of geology cannon. Quickly, quickly. Bam, bam, bam. Take back off. Oh, yeah, this is an airless world. This is a bit better. I'm not going to use so much jetpack fuel. Yeah, I'm digging down to the centre of the earth with these guys. Freaking have that. Right. So now they're trapped down there. Just keep killing them. Just keep killing the little... Oh no, they come over there now. There they are. Die! I think they're glitched. I think they're stuck. Ha ha! Where are you going to spawn now? Oh, we're done. We killed them all. Ah, we got them all. That was freaking quicker. There you go. If you can be really quick and just keep hitting them and just digging them down, freaking take them to the bowels of hell. Right, here we go. Let's hit this up. Nice one. Sweet. Moose Gaming, it's a fancy new word that rich people use. No ideas. Vacation. Vacation, indeed. Yes, that is exactly how the posh people say it. Vacation. Yes, holiday. Holiday is, 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 is what some people call it, but no. Vacation? Yes. Okay, we've got audio repellent. Olfactory repellent. I have no idea. What the fudge is that? Um, I don't know. We're going to choose that. Cool. The system confers my selection. A pleasant fragrance fills the facility. Oh, it's olfaction through the nostrils. Nostrils? Cool. Muffled deep below the earth, a chorus of screeching can be heard. There is a sinister burrowing sound, and then silence. So they're trying to get away from this. Oh, they're from the smell. Death by smell. Nice. Yes. Ah, uh, nice. Cool, yeah. Lovely. 
Awesome, I was going to make a fart joke, but no, better not. Right, okay, awesome. Let's head on off. Sweet. It's a concept unknown to many peoples. Yeah, well, apparently, apparently, you know when you, you know you've got the new thing on your laptop that pops up and gives you all the news that you don't want, and it gives you the weather forecast that you don't want, and there's no way to turn it off, and even if you hover it over it, it pops up, and it's freaking annoying when you just want to sort of click your calendar and that comes up instead. Yeah, that, that sort of thing that pops up when you don't want it to, that actually came up with a news story the other day. Here in the UK, the government are considering putting us on a four-day working week, and a lot of big companies are already adopting it. Mine hasn't. I don't know, none of my friends that I know have said, oh, look, Captain Steve, I'm now on a four-day week. Hasn't happened. My brothers haven't hit me up and said, oh, I've got a four-day week. No one I know on the planet of the UK has told me that they're working a four-day week. So whoever is working this four-day week, it isn't the likes of us, I'll tell you. So I have no idea who it is. I don't know who's got this four-day working week, but apparently it was on my tile thing. Yeah, I've never had one of those. What, a vacation? You've never had a vacation? Well, if you're self-employed, vacations can be a very rare thing to happen, to be honest. Yeah, so when I was self-employed, when I was contracting, I very rarely had a vacation because you don't get paid for it. So you have to save a shed load of money before you can have a vacation. What? Never heard of that. Matt Lowe, it, it was on my tile thing the other day. Go on Google and put, type in four-day working week and it should come up. Weeps in America, a four-day week is impossible over here. Well, they're, apparently they're doing it through shifts or something. You know, who knows? Who knows? Did I just pick up another mission? No, I don't think I did because there's no other ones to be had, is there? Am I on a mission? Did I pick up a mission? Well, that was lucky. Surveyor Planet is the next one. They can stick that where the sun doesn't shine, because I hate that one, especially in multiplayer, because it hardly ever links up. It doesn't really count all your sort of scans as one. Yeah, that one's freaking busted. Microsoft and buying Activision. Huge acquisition, that, says Austin Tassios. Well, Austin Tassios, yeah, that is quite a big acquisition, isn't it? That's, that's pretty big. Yeah, Microsoft buying of Activision. That is big. Well, the whole thing with Bethesda as well, that was freaking big too, you know? So, it does seem to be that slowly but surely, Microsoft and PC gaming is going to start dominating. And you're, the likes of Sony, they're going to just have the Sony Studio. It's going to turn into freaking Nintendo if we're not careful, isn't it? And then, even then, God of Freaking War went over to the PC as well. It's lucky I bought a game in PC. I mean, look at the launch. Well, look at the, if you've got a PlayStation 5, go on the PlayStation Store and go to PlayStation 5 games. Ah, if I had a capture card right now, I'd show you the sort of shite that is on there. There's loads and loads of these anime Klondike card game type things coming, like Solitaire. And you, you do the solitaire and it unravels some of the clothing of these anime models and things. There's probably about 12 of those games on the new releases list. It's probably by the same freaking dodgy pervy bloke that's made them or something. Has he even sold one? I, pr I pretty, oh, He probably has, to be honest, hasn't he? Let's face it. But uh, it, it's freaking not good. Yeah, there's loads of sh really, really terrible looking games on there. I'm... Some of them look like they've been made by RPG G Maker, VX or whatever. I used to make games on the PC and for mobile devices on RPG Maker. And there's loads of them as well. It's just shed loads of stuff that people have made in their freaking bedrooms and stuck on the store. That's, that's pretty much all there is there. Then there's the odd one or two titles and that's pretty much it. Meanwhile on Xbox Game Pass, I don't Dr. Pong, I know. Freaking Microsoft are going to freaking have this freaking competition, I'm telling you. If, if it carries on like this, Sony don't stand a freaking chance. They need to get, they need to get themselves the VR2 out as quickly as freaking possible, like freaking rapid, and they need to get some awesome VR titles out there. With this whole metaverse thing happening, if they can introduce a Sony metaverse, like a hub where all VR players can meet up, have their own sort of like little game spaces, maybe even watch YouTube together in some sort of VR hub for PlayStation VR 2. That would be freaking awesome. Or even Netflix. You know, if you've got a Netflix membership, you could invite your mates around in VR to watch it with you. That would be freaking excellent. Yeah. Ex 
If you can do that, frickin' Sony, you might have a chance of doing something sociable and getting onto the frickin' metaverse before you get out metered by Microsoft. Because let's face it, they've got frickin' Oculus and all sorts of other shite that people are going to start using soon as well. So yeah, I think it's going to be a VR wave. Now, VR technology, I think, is going to take off. I mean, if you've got Zuckerberg sticking frickin' shed loads into it, quintillions or whatever, oodles of cash, it's going to happen eventually, isn't it? It's going to be like the Oasis at some stage. And yeah, I'll plug myself into frickin' No Man's Sky. In fact, as soon as I get PSVR 2, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to start a new save in VR, and I'm going to play all the way through till I get to this sort of standard of play, and I'm going to have a VR save, and I'm going to do VR live streams as well as non-VR live streams in No Man's Sky. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, there we go. Anyway, um, I didn't rant about these missions. I actually enjoyed doing every single one of these weekend, these uh, Quicksilver missions today, people. Uh, so, yeah, we we hunted pirates and we killed freaking aliens, didn't we? Both combat. What does that tell you? It'd be nice if they scale up combat and make it a little bit more involved. I know they've added, like, double sort of elements to your weapon. You can actually change the rate of fire and stuff now. Does anybody body bother? Probably not, because there's no need to. You can just zap them with whatever you've got. Killwalker, hello. I think the metaverse is dangerous. I don't trust that cyborg Zuckerberg. <laughs> He's not human. He looks like Data from Star Trek, doesn't he? It's like freaking Carl Sung made him or something. I agree. I think he's an android. Yeah, totally on. I'm totally with you on that one. He does look like Data's brother or something, especially the haircut and the dead eyes. It's just like money, money, money. That's probably his default mode. He's yeah, he's freaking creepy, isn't he? He really is. Yeah, and he just when he just wears all the black as well, he's just. He's, he's very android. Even in his persona, he's android. Okay. Have you guys come across a website called 2040.com? Yeah, um, I think it's 2040. Let me just double check, because I don't want to send you somewhere dodgy. All right, let's just get rid of some of these tabs that I've got open along here. Let me just see if it's still there. Okay, 2040.com. 2040.com. So it's, oh, I missed a zero. 2040.com. It's a date, basically. Oh. Oh, I think it's gone. Okay, um... Was it 2030.com then? 2030. Mm, okay. Um, Avatar. Avatar. Russian. Billionaire. Uh, Russian billionaire. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, it's the 2045. 2045. Okay. Uh, there's a Wikipedia site for it. Uh, I don't know whether it's still live. Let's see if it's still live. 2045.com. Let's see if it's still there. Yes, it's still there. 2045.com. All right, brilliant. It's 2045.com. Boom. Uh, it says this live chat is over. I'm typing in the wrong live chat, aren't I? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> fudging heck. There we go. 2045.com, anyway. If you do go there, it's actually done by a Russian billionaire. And you can actually order your own Android body, your own avatar now. And he wants to download people's consciousness and transfer it into your robot that you've ordered. Okay, now he's saying that they won't be ready till the year 2045. This guy is already a Russian billionaire. His name is Dmitry Itzkov. He makes limbs for people that have lost limbs. Robot arms, robot legs, stuff like that. This guy is like the Russian Elon Musk, basically. And, uh, yeah, he's got more money than sense. If he says it's going to happen, it's probably going to happen. But he said, until then, if you do want to, you can actually have a robot body made and have your head decapitated and attached to the robot body at the point of death. So you can carry on living as a robot sort of humanoid mechanism. Until he has your actual avatar ready in 2045. And get this. He's saying that you may even be able to live in a virtual reality as your consciousness. In like a virtual game. Your consciousness in a game. Or it, you can make your own virtual reality. Like your own Matrix. Oh, it's frick Yeah, literally ghost in a freaking shell. If you've watched... Yeah. Take a look at the website. It's 
freaking mind blowing. It's been about for a little while, but he's got a video on there and all sorts talking about how do you get away from this world that is collapsing? You know, how do you get away from this fact that resources are running out and the, you know, blah blah blah. Yeah, become an android. <laughs> freaking what? Okay, all right, fine. Uh, yeah, sign me up. <laughs> get this. I emailed him. Right. I emailed them and said, yes, I would very much like to have one of your avatars in 2045. However, I do not have one million pounds. <laughs> However, you're promising immortality. Therefore, can I finance this? <laughs> Over the space of 200 years. Yeah. And, um... <laughs> well, they didn't reply, but... We can but hope. Maybe they might. Yeah, In 2045, maybe they might. It depends how many backers they get, I guess, doesn't it? But freaking insane. For a million pounds, you can reserve your own avatar right now. And until then, they would do as much as they possibly can to transfer your consciousness and to keep you immortal until that time happens. So anybody who's got a spare million quid and you want to be immortal, check out 2045.com. There you go. That's a shout out that you don't really get all too often, isn't it? You know? Anyhow, I'm off now, people. Yeah, download me into a fresh No Man's Sky safe file. Exactly! Yeah, the only thing is, you wouldn't really want a virus or something, would you? Would it? Oh, it's a scary world. You see, if they're taking your consciousness, yeah, if they're, if they're, that's a copy. Because you're hardwired, it's organic. Your freaking brain is organic. So even if they do download your consciousness, it's a copy of all your memories and who is you. So they've just made a clone, like a digital clone, a representation. It's not really you. So unless they are taking the brain out or doing the decapitation and reattaching to an android, I don't really feel that it's you. It's, it's like a copy. But then people say to me, well, Captain Steve, that's how the teleporters work inside of Star Trek. They actually download your consciousness into like their computer. They break down your physical structure, rebuild your physical structure, then put your memories back into your brain. So it's a different you. It's a different brain, but it's a different consciousness in there. If they could do that, I suppose, but they're still killing off what made you, you. Is this getting rid of the human soul, if there is such a thing? Science doesn't know whether there is a human soul as yet. It's proper weird. It, it keeps me awake at night thinking of these conundrums, people. Yes, I live in a permanent black mirror world when I go to sleep. Anyway, I've jumped in and out of my ship like 12 times to make a save to keep that Quicksilver. I don't know why I keep doing it. No, there we go. We've got 35,000 Quicksilver on this save. Lovely jubbly. And yeah, I'm going to be ending off now, people. But that's given you food for thought, hasn't it? That's given you food for freaking thought. Yes, yes it has. Yeah, so there we go. Jump over to 2045 and have a little, have a little look there. Oh, well, yeah, it's Tuesday. We're doing a rod raid. Let's go raid Scottish rod. I always freaking forget thank you for that reminder so captain steve raid we're going to jump on over to scottish rod's channel and just uh, stick a captain steve raid in there so here we go here's his here's his youtube video thank you very much wolfie because i would have bloody forgot there you go let's put in a raid captain steve raid boom so thank you there wolfie nice one sir nice one and you know what thank you very much everybody for watching i'm going to be in scottish rod's stream where i'm doing my thumbnail my tags and all the admin stuff i'm going to grab dinner and probably carry on watching rod play so i'll be in there for a while i'll see you over on rod's channel thank you very much for being here take care for now goodbye all right where's that button i got it right first time heck yes i did right take care bye 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 cheerio